chicken right there. Wave. Let's go for a run. All right, gonna go for a little Sunday run. Gonna probably hit like three miles around the neighborhood. Currently training for a half marathon, so I just have to run. I ran 10 miles. Uh, two days ago and now I have to run again and for someone like me who doesn't run or like running After you've done 10 miles, you don't want to run two days later But trying to stick to the program gonna follow What the doctor is ordering and gonna hit some hills around the neighborhood Talk through the fit real quick, you know, just for you people like me who love gear um, on the on the wrist, the icy wrist, we got the Garmin Forerunner 255. I've tried Apple Watch. I have a Whoop as well. Rocking this. This is the best watch for running. For me, in my opinion, is affordable. I think it's like two or three hundred dollars, um, and it's super accurate. I run with some of the homies and their phones and watches be saying some crazy things. I feel like this one's the most true to what's actually happening. Got the Onus Run Tee. This is a sample of a shirt that I'm making. Run team on the back. It's breathable, lightweight, but the logo is changing, the back's changing, a bunch of stuff changing, the material's changing. It's got this gray on the inside. Changing it all, but we have it. It's a sample, so we're running in it. And then, on feet. We got the On Cloud Eclipse. I've done one run in these and ran the 10 mile run the other day and these were great. I really love them. So I'm gonna try them with some hills around the neighborhood. I don't know if they're necessarily supposed to be for that, but they said it was like an all around versatile shoe. So On Cloud Eclipse and then just got some Nike running shorts and that's the fit, the running fit is crucial running fit is part of running you're not gonna catch me out here running and not have all the gear i'm not gonna run and not post it to strava i'm not a runner listen boys i'm not a runner i like to lift weights i like to squat heavy but for some reason i'm out here running and i'm doing this half marathon because i'm trying to do both I'm trying to be endurance trying to be fit Try to have a good cardiovascular system, trying to breathe well, blood move well, try to be mobile, trying to be flexible, trying to be strong, trying to get big, trying to do it all. So, three miles, hills around the neighborhood, gonna take it easy, throw some AirPods in. Gonna stretch real quick, gonna floss my knee with the floss band, show you guys that. That's uh, pretty crucial for me, and then we're gonna get after it. Let's go. So if you've been following the vlogs at all, you probably know I've torn my ACL um, about a year ago. Still on the road to recovery. Honestly, running has been one of the hardest things and obviously leg day, but running, getting my leg and my, my quad and my calf to respond to running has been super hard. Um, but one thing that helps is hitting this mobility band. It's called a Voodoo Floss Band and it's for your joints. Um, and just like for me, it's like all the scar tissue and stiffness in my knee and it helps break some of that down. Um, but if you're having some knee pain, if you're having ankle pain, even elbow or wrist pain, a voodoo floss band is pretty essential. Um, I'll have it linked down below so you can grab one. I think they're like 20 bucks, but it makes your knees feel incredible once you do it. Stuff I'm doing is just some typical dynamic stretching for a run. Straight leg, getting those hamstrings warmed up. Oh, my right one's super tight. Ah. I stretch before everything. 
We never hit these pass throughs before a run. Oh, the magic. Just straight hills today, boy. Straight hills today. Garmin said performance plus two. I'll take that for placebo effect. Feeling good. Take it nice and slow. I like a 10 minute pace smile. But honestly, these new shoes have been a game changer. My legs feel way better. I'm a bigger, heavier runner comparatively. Sitting at like 220. 215 in between, and lots of cushion feels a lot better. So, I don't know, it's a little switch up in the shoes, they've been really helpful. All right, we're finishing up. Honestly, felt great. Took it pretty easy. Rocking like a 10 to 10 10 mile per hour. Or mile pace, whatever it's called. Overall, felt good. Shoes felt great. Nice and easy. Hills were hard, but it's kind of reminding myself that after the hills, it would be chill. So when I started to feel that pain in my calves after a hill, I was just like, ah, this hurts right now, but <clears throat> once we get on the straightaway, we'll be good. So that mental game for me is pretty crucial. I really think though, not to be that guy, but the shoes helped. All right, run felt great. We're back in the gym and we're gonna finish off with some accessory work. I'm gonna do this guy's, um, his name's Dream Chaser on Instagram. He has like, ACL protocol leg workouts. So for people who have torn their ACL or recovering from ACL or trying to prevent ACL tears, I just got these barefoot shoes. I would, being at my own house, just hit a workout barefoot, but I'm not gonna, not gonna do you guys like that. I'm putting the dogs out in the wild, but I believe they're called Let's see what they're called. Vivo, I think that's what they're called. They're honestly great um, for being at a local gym and training your feet properly and your toes properly. I've noticed a huge difference and I've only had them for about a month now. Um, and they're, they're really just super comfortable. It feels like you're walking around in your socks um, at the gym and for squatting, deadlifting, and then any sort of just like movement where your feet are planted on the ground. I feel like just creating that strong base from your toes to your knees, to your hips, to your legs is really good for overall injury prevention. So really liking these, I'll link these down below as well if you wanna check them out. Um, they are a bit expensive for like, you know, such a, such a bare minimum shoe, but they are really nice and high quality, so. Been enjoying these. All right, let's get a workout. Let's finish this workout. We did 30 minutes of running. Gonna do 30 minutes of accessory work. Call it a day for a Sunday. You ever just work out to a C pad? Worship pads? Woo! Talk about a workout, baby. Maybe soon. 
So anything you'd like to say to the vlog? Oh. I would like to say that um, Mike Hudson needs to post more vlogs. We've all been waiting too long. <laughs> he keeps us waiting. He, uh, I can't finish my thought, I lost it. He keeps us waiting. He keeps us waiting too long for the next one. And I need, I need weekly content because he's just so cool that I feel like I can't like get into my week without a, a weekly vlog from Nate. Do you guys feel that as well?